We've covered farming with druids, farms, and boats, but now we're moving on to the incredible potential of alchemists. The bottom path elk can generate quite a bit of cash if you know how to use them. The first upgrade that we'll be looking into is the lead to gold upgrade, which grants the elk 50 extra dollars for every lead balloon he pops. Now a 003 elk costs $2,860, so it'll take 57.2 lead balloons to pay him off, which will be on round 59 in a normal run. The best game mode to use the lead to gold is in apocalypse mode, as more leads spawn there. But in the later stages of the game, lead balloons become more and more common, allowing you to make a lot of money with just a lead to gold alchemist. But that is not where the journey ends. The next upgrade, Rubber to Gold, is where the Elk makes bank. This upgrade allows the Elk to throw special potions that partially turn balloons and mobs except the bad into gold. Balloons affected by this provide plus 200% more cash per pop. This special potion is thrown once every 5 seconds and should be cross paths with larger potions so it will affect more balloons. This gold effect lasts indefinitely and soaks through all layers of balloons, but does not soak through mobs. Because of this, it is a good idea to one-shot mobs if you are running a rubber to gold elk. Two good ways of doing this are monkey pirates or an XXXL trap. Mob class balloons that are affected by rubber to gold give plus 200% income when hooked in by monkey pirates or a pirate lord. Likewise, trapping an affected mob class balloon into an XXXL trap will provide plus 200% income once full, on top of the trap's plus 100% bonus for a total of plus 300%. When utilized properly, it is a very efficient income source. To maximize its total income, your other defenses should be based mostly on slowing down the balloons, insta-killing blimps, and avoiding lead popping power outside of the alchemist as much as possible. Another tip you can do to optimize the elk is setting him to strong. This will make it target the balloons that provide the most cash, since the effect soaks through all layers. It will make the best profits off of ceramics, as they take many hits to destroy, and the rubber to gold effect capitalizes on their high health pool. You will also want to slow down the balloons as the elk can only affect so many at a time. My favorite way to do this is with a glue hose as it does not pop any balloons but slows them down for the alchemist. And if you want to slow down mobs, you can get a 013 glue gunner as well. When optimized, rubber to gold income generation in a full game gains between 150 and 200% more income. The maximum income bonus is plus 200%, but that would require every popped balloon to be partially golden. But that is how the alchemist can get you incredible amounts of money in BTD6.